Good morning, fourth graders. Today is Thursday, and today we're going to practice multiplying fractions by whole numbers. All right, so if you don't have paper and pencil, go ahead, feel free, pause the video and grab those items, and then come on back. All right, so let's get ready, here we go. All right, our first problem, problem number one, let's write this down. Eight times one third. Okay, so we have a whole number times a fraction. Now when we see the number eight, we have to remember that eight can also the whole number be represented as a fraction. So by doing a simple step, I'm going to write it down below. You can do this with me if you're following along. If you know how to do it, go ahead. Feel free to give it a whirl on your own and then check it with me. So we're going to write that fraction 8 over 1. Whenever you see a number over a 1 as a fraction, that is the, the way to represent a whole number in fraction form. So eight over one is the same, it's just plain old eight, okay? So we'll be using that strategy a lot in uh, the next couple videos. So if you know that, then you can rewrite the fraction one third. There you go. Now let's draw our equal sign. Next up, I'm gonna use a different color here. Let's switch over. There we go. Okay, now that we have our fractions, we're going to multiply the numerators. Remember, the numerator is the top numbers. So I'm going to circle it so you can see it. If we multiply across 8 times 1, what is your product? 8. Good. Write that down. And then we're going to multiply the denominators. So those are the numbers in the bottom. So let's circle those so you can see them. 1 times 3. Excellent. So we're going to draw that, and you can see we have a fraction called 8 thirds. Now, you learned and practiced with Mrs. Frakes in the previous fraction and mixed number videos that this is what we call an improper, let me switch my color here, this is called an improper fraction. Let me write that down. You can write that down if you want as well. And this should be, again, review from Mrs. Frakes. So when we have an improper fraction as our answer, 8 thirds, that means the number in the top or numerator is bigger than the number in the bottom or denominator. And we know that 8 thirds, it can be converted into a mixed number. So you don't have to. You can actually leave it. If you were um, solving this problem, say, for example, on a test for a teacher, this, this form of the fraction would be acceptable, 8 thirds. But if your teacher did ask you, okay, let's, I'm going to go over to another slide and show you that answer. If they asked you to convert 8 thirds back into a mixed number, okay, you could do that. And the way you could do that is basically using division. So it's kind of like saying the number 8 divided by 3, okay? So if you did that, we're going to use the strategy we learned of partial products. 3 goes into 8 how many times? Well, we know that 3 times 1 is 3. That gets close to 8. We know that 3 times 2 is 6. That's getting closer to 8. If we did 3 times 3, our 3's facts, that would be 9, and that would be going over, so that's definitely not going to work. So the closest we can get, we said, is 2. So if we do 3 times 2, that is 6. We're going to subtract that. 8 minus 6 is 2. Excellent. Okay. And we have a remainder of 2. Out here is our answer, 2. I'm going to write that down. Okay. Now, how does that help you turn that into a mixed number? Well, I'm going to draw this so you can see. 
Maybe I'll use a different color again. This number in the top, our quotient, that is the first number in our fraction. So we have our mixed number, two, two whole. This number in the bottom, which is now your remainder, goes over here in our mixed number. And this number that you divided by, the divisor, ends up here in the denominator of our fraction. So our mixed number is 8 thirds equals 2 and 2 thirds, which this is something you did practice with Mrs. Frakes. Now, let's make sure we check that and make sure it's pro that is correct. Mrs. Uh, Frakes had shown you a strategy in another video. So I'm going to go to the next slide. And let's see. We just said that 8 thirds equals 2 and 2 thirds, right? All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. How can we make sure that those both forms are right? Like I said, if you had written in the beginning 8 thirds as your answer as an improper fraction, that's totally fine. But if you want to check and make sure that your mixed number 2 and 2 thirds is correct, there is a real simple strategy of checking that we use a lot in fifth grade and middle school. So you, this is the trick. Here's the magic trick. So you take these two numbers, okay, three times two, you multiply them. So this bottom number, the denominator times the whole number. Three times two is six, good. Then you add this top number, the numerator. Six plus two is eight. And you rewrite this as a denominator, eight thirds. There you go. And by the way, if you drew that out in picture form, let's see, draw in thirds. We practiced this in class, but I know it's it's been a while. So if we draw our thirds, and I'm gonna use a different color to color this in just to show you one more way so that 8 thirds equals 2 and 2 thirds. So here we go. We have, we're going to color in 8 of the third slices. So this is one slice, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of the slices. And then notice they're all divided into thirds. Seven and eight. And when you look at that whole picture, you can see that one whole, let's pretend they're pizzas, two whole, and then two whole, and then we have two out of three slices. So there it is in picture form to show you the eight thirds does in fact equal two and two thirds. So as you learned in the beginning, multiplying a whole number times a fraction isn't too tricky. But there are ways to convert that improper fraction into a mixed number and also to check your work. So um, we'll practice some more problems, but good job on your first one.